The Newfoundland is the most extreme water dog on the planet. A Newfie saved Napoleon Bonaparte when he fell overboard on his way back to France from exile on Elba. They retrieved anything from the water that sort of fell in, whether it was a person or a net. Some Newfoundlands are lifeguards. This guy can save two people at once, maybe more. They would drown trying to save somebody in the water because that's what they were bred at, that's what they're good for. <laughs> Newfies are natural nursemaids, too. They are probably one of the best, if not the best, dog for children that you could find. Nana, the children's loving caretaker in Peter Pan, was a Newfie. The American Kennel Club recognizes four Newfoundland coat colors. Black, the most common. Brown, gray, and white and black, also called the Landseer. But where these massive dogs come from is a mystery. Some think the Newfie comes from the Great Pyrenees dogs brought to Newfoundland by Basque fishermen in the 15th century, later crossed with the Mastiff or French Hound. But all agree that while his ancestors come from Europe, the Newfie proper originated in Newfoundland. All of the Newfie's jobs require a dog of heroic proportion and skill. First, to haul to shore nets full of cod or a drowning man, the Newfoundland has to be big. In fact, the only sizes these behemoths come in are big, bigger, and jumbo. The largest Newfoundland was nearly six feet long from nose to tail, weighing in at 260 pounds, the size of a baby elephant. While the Newfie isn't known for record-breaking leaps, his extremely large bones give him mass and buoyancy. While his mammoth musculature provides the power and strength for taking on rough ocean waves and powerful tides. He has an enormous lung capacity for swimming long distances. And a thick, oily double coat that protects him from the chill of icy ocean waters. The Newfie's droopy lips and jowls are a key design innovation. The combination creates convenient passageways that allow him to breathe even when his mouth is full and swamped by waves. In the water, his massive webbed paws give the Newfie maximum propulsion with every stroke. A stroke that is no ordinary doggy paddle. Unlike other dogs, the Newfie moves his limbs in a down and out motion sort of a modified breaststroke. This gives him additional power with every stroke. Bethany Carger fell in love with Newfies 12 years ago. Since then, her family of four has grown to a family of 11, two children, and seven Newfies. I thought, well, if you can find a dog that is the best with children, what more could you ask for? It was the beginning of a deep and abiding love affair between the Cargers and this gentle, devoted breed. Young Jane was just 10 when Admiral, the first Newfie, arrived. I mean, I do only have one older brother, but I, I have seven, eight siblings that are four-legged. <laughs> they have activities of their own. They take up my parents' attention. And it was Jane, early on, who saw the potential to use the lovable lugs for community outreach. Well, kids coming. More, These days, the Cargers Newfies are celebrities from Pittsburgh to Buffalo. Can you say Newfoundlands? Because of their gentle, reliable nature, several times a week, these teddy bears are put to work at activities, like this dog safety class for preschoolers. <laughs> but the activity the Cargers enjoy the most is just what the Newfies were bred for in the first place, water rescue. Every summer on the shores of Lake Pymatuning, Pennsylvania, you'll find them training their dogs in this vital skill. Perhaps the most impressive drill performed by these dogs is the retrieval of an unconscious victim. In this drill, the dog has no motion or other sight cues to help him find the victim. Success or failure depends on the dog's innate problem-solving ability. Once he reaches the victim, he has to figure out the best place to take hold and do so with a soft mouth. 
Finally, he gently turns the body and with single-minded purpose and tremendous strength and endurance, heads for land. They bring me so much love and have enriched my life. I have met people and done things with my dogs that I never would have done without them. Quite likely, a more tolerant, protective, loving dog does not exist on this planet. But their sheer size means they're probably not for everyone. For one thing, its massive size can work against its health. You should really try to watch their weight because orthopedic issues can, can uh, occur. Grooming is a major concern. They have such thick and long fur, so you're going to have to maintain that pretty well uh, on a probably a twice weekly basis. Every Newfoundland I've ever met drool, so you just have to be careful of that. When it comes to the environment, that heavy coat can affect them in the heat. But surprisingly, Newfies can be fairly good city dogs. They'd be okay in an apartment. They don't need a lot of exercise. I mean, they do need some, but they definitely are kind of like a couch potato. When it comes to training, few dogs take to it better than a Newfie. They're very loyal, they're intelligent dogs, and they just want to please you. Newfies flat out win the family category, paws down. On paper, the Newfie looks like this. He can handle apartment living, but doesn't do well in heat. His size makes him prone to joint problems. Grooming the Newfie will keep you busy. One of the most trainable dogs in the animal kingdom, and the very best dog you can have in a family with small children. Very nice, come on, baby. <laughs> when Dogs 101 comes back, the Frankfurter dog that named a meat product. <laughs>